Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today, I have another Nintendo Switch related video for you. This is the Pro Player Joy-Con Grips Super Mario Edition from PDP. So this is an officially licensed Nintendo product from PDP. And uh, yeah, these are little grips for your, your Joy-Cons when you turn them sideways. You know, if they're too tiny for you and it's a little hard, like for me, there's some games I can play it like this, but other games are kind of difficult, like Mario Kart for me. I'm not the greatest because the, the Joy-Cons are a little small for me. But these grips supposedly make them even easier to use. So we'll test that out and see how it actually works in practice. But here it is right here. So uh, there's two different versions. So there's a Luigi one right there, of course, and then a Mario version as well, which is pretty cool. So uh, the back shows you the controllers right there, transforms Joy-Cons into full-sized controllers, includes a set of two grips, a molded texture design, grips compatible with both left and right Joy-Cons. So uh, very interested to try these out and see how they actually work. So without further ado, let's get this open and take a look. All right, so I have the Joy-Con grips out of the packaging right here, so let's take a look at them. All right, so here is the Mario one right here. Um, so the plastic is kind of this hard plastic. It's not like a rubbery, you know, uh, type of thing. It's not bendy or anything. It's a hard plastic shell, basically, for the Joy-Con. So the red one has got your Mario logo right there, Nintendo Switch logo. A little faint, but there's a minus and a plus right there, which will be important uh, in a second once I show you how to attach the Joy-Cons. The back has got the Switch logo there, which is really nice. Um, it looks almost like they attempted to put some kind of a textured feel to it, but it's so faint that it really just feels like normal plastic on the back. So, you know, it's not going to be like a super grippy, comfortable feel, but it, you know, it works. So we'll have to see how it actually controls. Uh, and then you have your SL and SR buttons right here um, as they're supposed to, you know, push uh, and connect to the Joy-Cons. There's a little image here as well. It's got your PDP logo and it mentions how you can attach either the left or right Joy-Con in here as well. So let's take a quick look at the Luigi one. So it's all green and you have your L right there for Luigi. But otherwise, everything else is the same. So, um, very basic. There's nothing too fancy about these. You know, they don't feel like they're any like super high quality type of things, but they feel like they might get the job done though. They feel better than like flimsy little grips that you might be able to attach. Like these feel pretty sturdy though. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. So I got my Joy-Cons right here. So let's connect these. And so the way that this works is you can actually attach either Joy-Con into either one. So if you are doing the um, the, the left Joy-Con, your minus sign is going to want to align with the minus sign uh, on here, basically. So once it aligns, you'll see, it's a little hard to tell, but when I'm pushing SL or SR, it is aligning with the buttons there. So theoretically, this is how you would play, basically. So... I mean, I don't know. My my biggest thing with these controllers um, is the fact that naturally, when I'm playing, my thumb is going to want to go over here. But this Joy-Con is over here. So that already is not super comfortable. Um, granted, that's it's not that much better when I'm like this, but I feel like here I can adjust my hand and kind of play. So it's not too bad. But... It's a little difficult like this. It just feels odd to me. Um, also, my my pointer fingers rest on the back part here, but the SL and R SL bar SL and SR buttons are towards the front. You can't really move them much unless they design some kind of button to be back there that would move forward and push it here. So I I mean I feel like it might have been a little bit better like that. It'll be a little odd playing like this. I'll test it out and see how it feels, but do keep that in mind. Now, you can also use the same grip both ways, so I can actually use the other controller here. I just have to align up the plus sign, basically, with that, and then it should work like that. And in this case, it's the control stick that almost feels like it's in the middle, so it really kind of highlights the oddity with the Joy-Cons when playing sideways. I Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the ability to do that. The, uh, the ability to have two-player out of the box is awesome. Um, and I've seen some people that do it. My cousins, they've, they've played like this before and, and it's fine. Um, it's not the best, but it works. Um, will these grips make them any better? Will it make it more easier to do? 
I don't know. I, I don't really know, to be completely honest. Uh, before we try it out, I do have a couple of other Joy-Cons that I want to actually try uh, in the system. So I have uh, Neon Red, so I want to try the Neon Red Joy-Con uh, in the, uh, the Mario controller. And I have Neon Green as well, so let's bring in uh, Neon Green. So if you have any of these colors, you can see the, uh, the difference, the brightness with the Joy-Cons there, uh, which is a little odd, um, but you know, I mean, it works. You can pick whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be these exact same ones. I can, I can mix and match these if I want to as well and have green in here and then this one, you know, here. Like, that's totally fine as well. It looks even more odd, but it's certainly possible. So I do appreciate uh, that, at least. Uh, and then I also do have a uh, regular red Joy-Con, which this actually does fit a lot better. It's not the exact same shade of red, but it's actually not bad uh, in terms of the, the look of it for it all to be matching. Uh, that being said, the gray is pretty serviceable as well. Like, it's not like the gray looks bad either. Like, I think it, it works. Um, you know, so you certainly have your, your options. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to boot up some Mario Kart here and I'm going to try out the controller sideways and see how it actually fares in the game. So, let's try that out. Alright, so I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe going right here. So, this is going to be the moment of truth to see is this going to really uh, be helpful in playing Mario Kart because I struggle sometimes with playing just the Joy-Con sideways if I've ever had to. So I'm going to try this out and see how well this works. So ready? Here we go. All right, so I can feel the HD rumble just fine. Oh yeah, my fingers have to go up here. I'm not, I'm not used to that. Um, so, all right, one issue that I have already, and this is a major issue, is SL and SR are not working properly. Um, I, I, it's really hard, I don't know if you could tell. Let me see if I can pause it and move this closer to um, the camera here. I know I got my lights like in the way, so it's a little hard to see. Um, but let me try and resume. And, all right, so I have an item, right? I'm pushing SL. All right, so that worked that time. But SR, I'm pushing SR. It's not, I'm not, it's not letting me drift. It, I'm not drifting. Look, I'm pushing SL lightly. It's not shooting my item. If I push it really hard, there you go. But I have to push it down really hard. Uh, all right, let me try and drift around the corner. Nope. Nope, didn't drift. I went, I went into the corner. So let me pause the game. That's a big, big issue. And, and I, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to demonstrate it there because here, here's my, the, the first issue that I faced when I got the game is I got to this screen, press LR to start, and I'm pushing the buttons, but look, it's not, it's not letting me in. I'm pushing down really hard. Let me in. Let me into the game. It's not doing it. Now let me take the Joy-Con out of here, push my buttons. Instantly, I'm in. Instantly. That's it. I push it down. It's in. Boom. Easy. In here. Not working. Doesn't work. That's a big problem. Let me try the other grip here. Let me try the Luigi one and see if it makes a difference. I actually didn't try this yet, so let's see. Nope. Same thing. Pushing L and R. Not letting me in. That is a major problem. Um, the way this is designed, this is supposed to push down this little plastic tab, and if you look closely at the controller, like I can see it pushing down on the button. Um, it may be a little hard to see on the camera. I see it pushing down. However, however, on the Joy-Cons, if I'm just pushing down, that doesn't, oh, sorry. Um, that doesn't do anything. You have to push hard till it clicks. And these grips don't do that. So that is a major design flaw in these grips. So um, yeah. So my recommendation, do not buy. That is my recommendation to you, excuse me. Um, 
in concept, you know, in look and everything, like they seem okay. But the biggest thing is, do they work, right? These don't work. I'm sorry to say, these don't work. Um, so, keep that in mind when you're looking for grips for your Joy-Con controller. I would avoid these. If you guys have them in the comment section below and they work for you, let me know. Because if I'm doing something wrong, I'd love to be wrong about this. Um, but it appears that these don't work. Um, so, let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this review because it hopefully... Uh, made it easy for you to decide not to get them because, you know, not every accessory is going to be that great. So keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. So let me know in the comments section, do you have other types of grips for your Joy-Cons? Joy like if you play them sideways, do you just play it just normally? Uh, or I guess you have the Joy-Con strap probably, that's a little bit better. Or what other types of Joy-Con grips are out there? Because I'd love to try other Joy-Con grips, ones that actually work. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to return these because I've had these for a little while. I just didn't open them until now. Uh, so I don't know what GameStop's return policy is going to be on these. So I hope I'm not stuck with these. So I'm going to try and return these, but otherwise, you know, I guess I'm stuck with these, these pieces of plastic. But I'd love to try other Joy-Con grips to see if they work because I love my Nintendo Switch and I'm always down to try new accessories and see how they are. So let me know in the comment section if you have any other recommendations for Joy-Con grips as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.